Gold and copper stand apart from the vast majority of metals, not just for their historical and economic significance, but for their striking colors. Unlike the sea of silvery, gray, and white metallic hues that characterize most elements in the periodic table, gold gleams with a deep, lustrous yellow, while copper shines with its rich, reddish-orange glow. But why are these two metals the only ones that defy the conventional metallic color? The answer lies deep within the realms of atomic structure, electron behavior, and the enigmatic principles of quantum mechanics. Let's take a deep dive into this fascinating mystery, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand this phenomenon, we must first consider why most metals appear silver or gray. The defining feature of metallic luster is the way free electrons interact with light. In most metals, these electrons are highly mobile, allowing them to absorb and re-emit photons across a broad spectrum. This means that instead of selectively absorbing certain wavelengths of visible light, most metals reflect light almost uniformly, giving them their familiar silvery sheen. The color we perceive is dictated by which wavelengths are absorbed and which are reflected back to our eyes. However, gold and copper disrupt this trend due to unique relativistic effects at the atomic level. Gold's unique color comes from the relativistic contraction of its electron orbitals. In heavy atoms like gold, atomic number 79, the nucleus exerts a powerful pull on its electrons. This intense attraction causes inner electrons to move at speeds near a significant fraction of the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, these high-speed electrons experience mass increases and orbital contractions, especially in the 6s orbit. This shift alters the energy gap between orbitals, causing gold to absorb blue light instead of reflecting it, leaving behind the rich yellow hue we see. Copper's reddish color, though not as intense as gold's, stems from a similar but less pronounced relativistic effect. With an atomic number of 29, copper is lighter than gold and does not experience the same extreme shifts in electron behavior. However, it still exhibits enough contraction in its 4s and 3 days orbitals to selectively absorb higher energy blue and violet light. The remaining wavelengths, consisting mostly of reds and oranges, are reflected back giving copper its signature hue. This effect is less dramatic than in gold, but is still enough to set copper apart from the typical silvery metals. Interestingly, silver, which sits between copper and gold in the periodic table with an atomic number of 47, remains silver-colored, despite its high atomic weight. This is because the relativistic effects in silver's electron orbitals do not shift energy levels in a way that alters its absorption of visible light. Unlike gold, silver's D-band electrons absorb ultraviolet light rather than visible blue light, allowing all wavelengths of visible light to be uniformly reflected. This explains why silver maintains its bright, reflective, silvery appearance. The unique coloration of gold and copper has profound implications both in nature and in human history. Gold's non-reactive nature, combined with its distinctive hue, has made it a coveted material for thousands of years. From ancient Egyptian burial masks to modern-day investment reserves, gold's resistance to tarnishing and corrosion, along with its unmistakable glow, has cemented its status as a symbol of wealth and power. Copper, on the other hand, has played an essential role in technological advancement. Its high conductivity made it the metal of choice for early tools, wiring, and industrial applications. Over time, the reddish metal also oxidizes, developing a green patina, a property seen in iconic landmarks like the Statue of Liberty. Beyond their practical uses, the colors of gold and copper have intrigued scientists seeking to understand the deeper principles governing atomic behavior. Relativistic effects, once considered relevant only in high-energy physics, have been demonstrated in everyday materials, shaping our understanding of matter. These effects also extend beyond gold and copper, 
influencing the chemistry of other heavy elements, including those in the actinide and lanthanide series. For instance, relativistic contraction plays a crucial role in the unique chemical properties of elements like mercury, explaining why it remains liquid at room temperature. Moreover, modern advancements in computational physics have allowed researchers to simulate these relativistic effects with unprecedented accuracy, shedding new light on the fundamental behaviors of materials. Quantum mechanical models, built upon Schrodinger's equation and further refined by Dirac's relativistic corrections, now enable scientists to predict not only the colors of metals, but also their electrical conductivity, magnetic properties, and even chemical reactivity. These insights have far-reaching implications, extending beyond theoretical physics to the development of advanced materials, including novel alloys and engineered compounds with tailored optical, electronic, and structural characteristics, paving the way for innovations in nanotechnology, aerospace, and beyond. The distinctiveness of gold and copper reminds us that nature often defies our expectations, revealing the elegant interplay between fundamental forces. What appears at first glance to be a simple question about color turns out to be an exploration of the most profound concepts in physics. The golden glow of an ancient coin or the coppery sheen of a newly minted penny are not just aesthetic curiosities, they are direct manifestations of Einstein's relativity, quantum mechanics, and the intricate dance of electrons within atoms. As we continue to uncover the mysteries of the natural world, gold and copper serve as testaments to the hidden forces shaping our reality. Their colors are not mere anomalies, but rather the result of deep and fundamental physical principles that govern the universe itself, principles that extend beyond chemistry into the realms of quantum mechanics and relativity. These metals, with their singular hues, challenge our understanding of how matter behaves and reveal the subtle interplay between energy, motion, and perception. They remind us that even in the seemingly ordinary, the extraordinary is waiting to be discovered, proving that nature's most intricate wonders often lie just beneath the surface, hidden in the fabric of the atomic world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.